So there are lots of functional groups that we are going to learn about, and we've already been talking about ones like alcohols. There are three classes that all of these functional groups are going to fall into. And so the first one that we've looked at are the alkenes and the alkynes, the double and triple bonds between carbons. The big impact that this functional group has is that it makes the chemical properties of the alkane or the alkene or the alkyne, sorry, a little bit different in that they can uh, ex undergo addition reactions through the breaking of these double or triple bonds, and you can add atoms to them. Uh, the second main class of group is the carbon and something more electronegative group. And we've seen uh, carbon and nitrogen, for example. The carbon is less electronegative than the nitrogen, so the electrons tend to hang around on this nitrogen, and it tends to make one part of that molecule polar, the carbon and the single bond oxygen, often ending in an H. Once again, this makes the molecule polar because the oxygen tends to attract the electrons for more of the time than the carbon. The same thing with the carbon and halogen bonds. The halogens tend to attract the electron away from the carbon, and so it makes this group polar as well. Polarity does a few things. It raises the boiling point, it raises the melting point, and very often, and perhaps most importantly, it makes them soluble in water. The longer the carbon chain, the less soluble it will be in water. So the short chain alcohols we can see, we can actually make them, uh, we can put them in water in any proportion that we like. We say they're miscible in water. Longer chain alcohols, though, like pentanols, hexanols, are not soluble in water, or not very soluble in water. And so, depending on how long this chain is in your al uh, alcohol, they can be soluble in water. The last class of functional group is this one, where the carbon is double bonded to an oxygen. And so, once again, the oxygen is taking the electrons for a greater percentage of the time away from the carbon. And so, the carbon tends to be a little bit positive. The double bonded oxygen tends to be negative. Once again, the negatives and the positives can overlap, attract each other. You'll raise the boiling point. You will raise the melting point. As well, you will increase the solubility in water. 